it all back in perspective for you. The Republic of Ireland in a little bit of trouble now. They'd lost the first two matches of this six-match tie. Now Desi Sheehan's little flurry against Terry Griffiths had been stopped. He'd won the first frame and then lost the second, so there were now one frame all. One frame left to play in this vital match between Des Sheehan, the new professional, and Terry Griffiths. So, so much depending on this. So let's join it right at the very start.
We've got Sophie, Sophia Gaston here. She's somebody from for British foreign policy. We've got her here blinking again, right? She's in sun, right? So I'm going to use this one and let this one go, yeah? That she's in the sun and she's blinking, right? So this particular uh, section now where she's blinking, right? We're gonna we're gonna let this we're gonna let this one go and just say that it's the sun that's making a blink, right? I don't think it is, but just for argument's sake, yeah, we're gonna say that this is the sun making a blink. So when I point out on some people, in you know, in YouTubers who are blinking and the videos and they're doing all other shit that I've pointed out and they go, I'm outside in sun, it's sunny, it's windy, but then in the next video they do it same and they're sat in, supposedly they're sat in the front room. Right, I'm gonna let this go and say that this is the sun in her eyes that's causing this blinking, yeah? Obviously you can see her as well that she's a bit uncomfortable, she keeps touching herself and doing all, you know, all other stuff that I've pointed out. Yeah. So I'll leave this on for a minute or so just to get a gist that she is blinking abnormally too much. And just to point out, this is supposed to be someone out in public, yeah, that has a job and lives amongst us, yeah. So I'll let this go. She's only blinking here because of the sun, right? So let's just hold that one there. We'll go a bit further forward, right? When, the, when she's not actually not in the sun no more and see if she still does it. Right? Right, let me get her up. She's a bit further on. So I'm just gonna like prove it, this full process of elimination, that you can't always put the same answer down to it. I'm gonna let that one go, that she's blinking because of the sunlight. Right, she's back on now, hang on, hang on. Right. So she's back on. She's not in the sunlight now. There's no sun in her eyes, so we can't use the sun as an excuse, yeah? Because I've had people saying, oh, it's, it's, it's sun in the eyes, right? So I've said that first one, yeah, is sun in her eyes, but clearly the sun's not in her eyes now and she's still blinking like this, yeah? Also, for anyone, any more skeptics in there, just to prove it wrong, uh, you just do a quick YouTube search of this lady and you can find that videos from two, three and four years ago when she's doing a video on her own, she's still blinking, yeah? So this is two year, that's the year before we even went down into lockdown that some of these videos are on. Notice how she's touching herself as well. So, so these, these people are not just blinking on your screen, in, on your TV and in this house as a parliament or where they're at. They do it on their own videos as well. So it goes back, they're not just on these, the telly blinking the one time that they come on. It's same as I found that, that guy in houses of commons that were licking and couldn't stop licking, even she can't keep her mouth in them. They can't stop licking, but you go back over footage 10 years ago, five years ago, and they're doing that same body movement. So it's not just a one-off to that particular time. You know, so this thing, if you actually dig deep enough, it's always been there. You know, I didn't know about this stuff four years ago, or I noticed it, but no, it never clicked. So it's always been there, but we've never, never noticed it. So this is this is this is what I'm I'm getting at with people. If you go back over all the videos, yeah, and things, it's there. But people just ignore you because they can't deny this blinking. 
they can give you all alternate reality and say this person's wearing a mask and this that and other which is fine you know it might be well be that in some of the cases but there's plenty of ways to to you know to weed out some of the things that we're told in that yeah but notice that everyone that's giving you information all blink like they do now like i've said before either it's all of us and the camera picks up something on all of us that we can't pick up that follows us that attaches to us or can attach to us if it's not that it is the people that i'm pointing out and there's no way to start saying it isn't when you can you, there's plenty of ways to try to debunk that sort of thing by going through old footage it down you know making it a process of elimination it's just statistics and how many times it occurs what's the possibilities because you can't use eye diseases and things like that constantly or bad camera because sometimes it's not bad camera and um, statistically for all these people to have eye diseases and eye problems becomes another statistical anomaly so that's just my piece on this one Oh my days. Now this is how you can rewrite history with the awful traits.
So the Orphan Train Movement was a supervised welfare program that transported children from crowded eastern cities of the United States to foster homes, located largely in rural areas of the Midwest. The Orphan Trains operated between 1854 and 1929, relocating about 250,000 children. So let's do the maths. Imagine when these children go into adults, they have two or three children of their own. Let's say 250,000 times three. You're looking at 750,000 adults that had their names changed and their place of birth changed. How would you know who's who? Or how would you know who you really are? By the looks of it, this was big business. But what I want to know is where was all the parents? You see, it's not hard to rewrite history. All you need to do is get rid of all the elders and parents, relocate the children, and you can tell them anything, and they'll believe you.